did you know? Undertale was funded through the crowdfunding site Kickstarter and ended up raising $51,124, over 10 times the campaign's original goal. The character Muffet is one of the three characters created by Kickstarter backers, the other two being the hidden bosses Glide and So Sorry. Muffet was originally designed by cartoonist Michelle Tchaikovsky, who runs the webcomic Ava's Demon. While Tchaikovsky created Muffet's design and the idea of having a tea party with the player, Undertale creator Toby Fox did most of the work on her personality and role. He also made her human-sized, which Tchaikovsky hadn't envisioned. Shortly after the release of Undertale, there was a controversy surrounding the hidden enemy So Sorry. This character was created by a user named Samil after they chose the $1,000 backer tier in the Undertale Kickstarter. Several players felt that So Sorry didn't fit the game, or that the character was an unwarranted character cameo by the designer. This resulted in a backlash against Samil across various media outlets. The backlash eventually came to the attention of Toby Fox, who responded by asking people not to harass his supporters. The $1,000 tier in Undertale's Kickstarter was actually a joke tier that Toby expected to remain unpledged. Additionally, its seemingly ridiculous cost was also a reference to the Homestuck adventure game Kickstarter. For Homestuck, the pledge was $10,000, and read, your fan troll will become canon and appear in Homestuck. The amalgamated monsters in Undertale are a concept that Toby has used before. Fox released a ROM hack of Earthbound called the Earthbound Halloween hack. Towards the end of the hack, an enemy called the Amalgamate blocks the player, and this foe is a fusion of enemies seen throughout the game. Napstablook's name is likely a reference to the file-sharing software Napster, which was frequently used to share music in the early 2000s. The computer in Napstablook's house also displays a, quote, music-sharing forum, another nod to Napster. The monster Lukes is a member of a species called Eyewalker, a reference to Star Wars and its main character, Luke Skywalker. According to Toby, there were originally plans for the player to marry a robot, presumably Metaton. This feature was cut from the final game for unknown reasons, but this wasn't the only cut feature linked to Metaton. It was originally planned for Metaton to save images of the player's essay to their hard drive, a feature that was removed from the final version of the game because it was simply too buggy. Metaton is also partially inspired by the Twitter user Nerdbot Mark II. One of the game's consumable items is a stake in the shape of Metaton's face. During normal encounters, the item's name is abbreviated as Face Stake in the inventory. If the player is named Drac, Gigi, or Gugu, however, it will be abbreviated as F Stake. This is a reference to the Persona 4 comic by Giggy Diggy, who also made Cucumber Quest. The abandoned quiche in the waterfall area seems to be a reference to a real-world event where Toby Fox found an abandoned quiche under a bench, as implied by a tweet he made in October 2015. In Undertale's Tim shop, there's a bottle on a shelf, which may be a reference to Undertale artist Timmy Chang's thesis film, titled Potion Shop. This wouldn't be the only object from Undertale that seems to be inspired by Timmy's thesis. The animation also features a fish-like house with scales and similar proportions to Undyne's house. Early concept art for both Undyne's house and Alphys's lab can be found within the game's unused assets. These crude versions of the in-game locations feature several differences when compared with their final counterpart. Parts. The concept art for Undyne's house has a fishbowl and much more clutter on the kitchen countertops, while art for Alphys' lab features a bed which would eventually become the easy-to-draw cube. The concept art for Undertale mostly shares this simplistic aesthetic, as can be seen in the concept art for the bartender Grillby and what may be Papyrus, as well as the character Burger Pants. Interestingly, the line art for Burger Pants' in-game sprite is almost exactly the same as the original concept art. If the player somehow manages to not fulfill any of the requirements for any of the game's endings, they will get the impossible or dirty hacker ending. It's unclear exactly how a player would attain this ending without modifying the game's files in some way, or if it's even possible to do so. In the ending, Sans will suggest that the player contact the developer so they can fix the game or add another ending. He then implies that the player is probably just a dirty hacker. Many unused assets appear throughout the game's files, and most of them relate to things that were either removed or went unused. However, there are three files that exist solely to discourage data miners from posting what they might 
might find. The first is a simple image with a black background and white text named ABC underscore 1111 underscore 0 dot PNG. The message asks the reader not to post the game's sprite sheets online, as Fox would like the player to see each sprite in context first and not be spoiled. The second message is an audio file named ABC underscore 123 underscore A dot AUG. The audio file has several text-to-speech voices asking the listener to show some respect and not spoil the game for others. Have some respect and don't spoil the game. Despite the seemingly random nature of these first two file names, the names actually force the files to appear at the top of alphabetical lists. Effectively, this makes them the first files that most hackers and data miners will see. The third and final file is a text file, included along with other game-important text files. This file, again, requests that the reader not post it online. After an update in January 2016, the abc123a.og file was replaced with a different clip of random and jarring sounds. <laughs> Interestingly, these aren't the only audio secrets in the game. The track that plays while the player is being judged by Sans, titled The Choice, almost exactly matches up with the track titled Undertale when sped up by 666%. Undertale was met with praise upon release, as it let players complete the game without killing. After the release of Undertale, a concerned parent called into the CBN show The 700 Club asking for advice. The parent was worried that her daughter had multiple pictures of a cartoon skeleton wearing a hoodie on her phone, presumably Sans. Pat Robertson, the CEO of CBN, urged the concerned parent to give their daughter something more wholesome, and went on to say there's got to be some video game that isn't so evil. The irony was not lost on Undertale fans. If you click this video, you're probably into games, and maybe comics and movies too. If you want apparel covered by some of your favorite franchises from pop culture, consider subscribing to Level Up. Level Up is a monthly subscription service from the creators of Loot Crate, and brings pop culture themed attire directly to you. The service has a different theme each month, and everything in the box is based on the theme. This month's Level Up box has clothing based on Mario, Marvel, and more. Level Up has multiple subscription tiers ranging from $8.99 all the way up to $20.99, and Level Up are offering Did You Know Gaming viewers 10% off of their subscription. If you're interested in exclusive gaming and pop culture themed apparel and want to support Did You Know Gaming, head over to to lootcrate.com slash dykg2 and enter the code dykg2 for 10% off any new subscription. Or you can get there by clicking the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming for more facts and trivia. And if you like this video, give it a like and a share. And hi, hello, what's up? My name's Lee. We all have new videos around the corner, but for now, check out my review of a game that doesn't exist, Ravenblade. On the real, it's more of a retrospective than a review, but I say review at the beginning. It's a long story, it had, the title had to be, just don't worry about it. It's a cool video, it's a cool story, it, just check it out. Alright, uh, later.